Hello, dear traders. You are watching weekly stock market review on InstaForex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. U.S. stocks finished lower last Friday but held on the weekly gains. The major stock indices closed lower as concerns over a global economic slowdown encouraged investors who bought earlier in the week to trim positions and take profits ahead of the weekend. However, the index has posted firm gains for the week due to favorable midterm election results and positive comments from President Trump over cooperation with the Democrats to keep the economy growing. The benchmark S&P 500 index settled at 2,781.01, down by 25.82. The S&P gained 2.8 percent over the week. The blue chip Dow Jones Industrial Average finished at 25,989.30, down by 201.92. For the week, the index climbed by 2.1 percent. The tech-based Nasdaq Composite closed at 7,407.91, down by 122.97. On the week, the Nasdaq rose by 0.7 percent. Consumer discretionary and technology shares weighed on the S&P. The Dow was driving lower by Caterpillar and Goldman Sachs. However, losses were softened by gains from Disney. The Nasdaq was pursued by weakness in Facebook, Amazon, Netflix and Alphabet. After a strong rally at midweek following the midterm elections, the market was under selling pressure due to the weaker crude oil prices, disappointing data from China, a hawkish U.S. Federal Reserve stance. On the earnings front, Yelp shares plunged by more than 26 percent after releasing its latest quarterly results. Thursday, Yelp shares dropped even more by 30 percent after revenue misses expectations and outlook was weak. The company reported revenue of $241 million for the quarter below analyst projections of $245 million. It also adjusted fourth quarter revenue guidance due to slowing new account growth. Meanwhile, Dow company Disney rose by 1.7 percent on the back of a better-than-expected result. On Thursday, the company reported fiscal fourth quarter earnings and revenue top and analytical expectations. Its earnings were $1.48 per share versus expected $1.34 per share. Revenue was $14.31 billion versus forecast $13.73 billion. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. We wish you profitable deals and see you later.